Hello everyone, it's Dreams here, 444 Tarot, and let's take a look and see what's going on here with the collective. I'm going to take a look and see what's going on with those of you that are in a relationship, and those of you that are single, and those of you that are currently in separation. Let's take a look and see what's the energy for all three, alright? So for those of you who are currently in a relationship, how are you feeling about the connection at this time? Remember, this is not everyone's message, okay? If it does not apply to you, then it's not your story. Um, some of you may resonate with all three because you've been going through different cycles, okay? Right now, you're in the Queen of Wands energy if you're in a relationship, okay? Some of you could be a little bored because she's saying bored on here. You could be so focused on your goals and work and um, like manifesting things, business opportunities, Things like that that um, require so much of your attention. Don't forget to, you know, pour into your partnership. What's this? Queen of Swords. For some of you who are in a connection at this time, you're in the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords energy. <laughs> so you're 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 coming off like extremely busy, focused on other things. Right now, your mind is. Paying attention to details. It's like, where's your where's your love at? Um, if you're in a relationship, why are you in this energy? It's not saying it's a bad energy, but it's kind of like you're kind of standing on business. You're focused on other things. Five of Swords. Because if you're in a relationship, you feel that if something is going on, like there's some uh, pettiness going on. Okay, I get that with the Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. So you're kind of bored with the situation because I'm, I'm getting a sense of frustration. You could feel like something is petty. Someone could be very petty, always starting up little petty arguments and disputes in the relationship. And I feel like you're shifting your focus onto something else. It's like you're kind of getting fed up. Your words are getting a lot harsher with the person or vice versa. Now, yeah, because you feel like someone could be playing games with you or some type of mind games is what I'm getting. And you're starting to see that. So you're bored with it. Yeah, that's what I'm getting for those of you who are in a connection. Let me get one more for those of you that are, are connected to someone. Okay, seven of coins. Yeah, you have this mindset like, you know... You're looking over what you what you've put in the time and you're you're wanting to see something something change, some growth here. With the seven of coins, if someone doesn't stop playing these mind games or trying to one up you, win at all costs, being petty, whatever this is that's going on that has you um, a little irritated, you're thinking about, you know, investing in in something else if if this doesn't change. Yeah. For some of you, you're realizing that. There is, there could be another person. There's a queen of wands and there's a queen of swords. And there, there's someone here has been playing mind games. And someone could be trying to invest, you know, in multiple people here. And so you're making a decision here to kind of pull back. You're, mm, get, I was going to finish there. You know, one more here. Page of coins. Yeah, some of you are getting some evidence of some um, some seed that someone may have sown in another direction. Like somebody has been kind of investing in another situation. Like you feel like somebody stabbed you in the back for some of you that are in a connection. So you're going through some changes right now. There's a queen of coins. There's a queen of coins. I also feel like for some of you that are in a connection, someone here is interested and uh, a commitment. Someone here wants to make you their uh, their wife, their spouse, their partner. Some of you could be married, but you could feel as though this person is very petty. You could feel like, you know, maybe this isn't worth the time. Some of you are just focusing on your finances. You're focused on your children. You're focused on your family. And you're also focused on like new opportunities elsewhere. Yep. Page of Cups. Yep. All right, so if that's for those of you who are in a connection, there is a little trouble going on there. It could involve multiple people, and you're kind of you're kind of um, getting sick and tired of it. You know, if there if you, if you feel like there isn't other people involved, 
you're tired of the pettiness. And so you may be considering cutting someone out because of the game playing and focusing on your finances, focusing on things that are um, that are long term. Because that queen of coins, that's somebody who's focused on long term growth, financial stability, marriage, all of that. OK, for those of you who are single, what's going on with you guys who's coming in for the singles? Or who y'all have in your energy if you're single? Some of you are in no contact or, or going through breakup singles. Some of you have been single for a while already. Just put yourself where you fit. But the Five of Swords came out with the Five of Cups. Some of you are still um, crying over spilled milk, over some type of betrayal, disappointment, or this is someone else. In your energy that you are single from. But let's take a look. For the singles. What's going on? You got the seven of wands. Yeah. You are setting up boundaries. With people. You're um, healthy boundaries. You're not letting people get too close to you at this time. Five of coins. Because you, um, you're still healing from some something or situation that left you um, feeling depleted. You know, with the five of coins, there could have been something here where someone made you feel left out in the cold. Someone may have um, really hurt you. So you're starting to focus on the new. You are setting healthy boundaries now. You're being very clear about what it is that you want. If you're dating, you're being very clear about what it is that you want. You're quick to cut off anything before it even goes too far if it doesn't line up with what you want. Some of you are looking for a new job. So you're you're getting a new job, starting a new position here with this Ace of Swords. You're getting some breakthrough in, in an area of your life, maybe even multiple areas. And I'm getting specifically in the area of your finances. Some of you may have taken some losses or you've been trying to, you know, hold on to your money. It looks like your money's been like flying out the window. But um, it looks like a new opportunity is coming in. Nine of Wands to the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you have been working a lot, stressing. A lot of you are dealing with the, uh, different projects, different assignments. You could be kind of in overload at times for those of you that are single because you're doing so much by yourself. And I feel like with the Queen of Wands, you're getting ready to step into something new, an entrepreneurship. You're getting ready to um, start to go out there and really... Um, show people who you really are. This I don't know. This Queen of Wands is giving me someone here who may work a lot, but you you're gonna start going back out there and getting dressed up. Um, you're gonna be cutting back on just and putting so much time into work because I really feel like you're working like this to avoid um, feeling some type of heartbreak. Some of you because you're setting boundaries with people because you're still you're still emotionally like depleted when it comes to love it's like you're like you, you just don't want to be bothered with it so you're focusing on is on everything else i feel like that is going to start to change because with this queen of wands coming out here and with the six of coins i feel like something is starting to balance out for you i feel like um you're getting like a new fresh energy that's coming in look at the king of wands the knight of cups four of coins some of you could have been dealing with the fire sign a water sign or an air sign but um or you have one that is coming in to wine and dying you. So I don't know. With this four of coins, you may hold back from, you may be holding back from somebody, you know, because you're trying to heal. So this could be someone new that wants to come in and take action towards you. But I see, I see you holding back um, because of fear of being, you know, rejected again. So singles. A lot of you, you have people that want to come in and give to you. I feel like you're going to start to kind of shift from overworking and being um, and using other things to distract you from love and start to get out a little bit. OK, or you're being advised to. All right. But you do have a, a king of wands looks like they're coming to take action towards you. You know, but the, with the Knight of Cups, this can be, you know, whining and dining, Knight in Shining Armor. But with the Four of Coins, it just makes me feel like for those of you singles, 
somebody's holding back from this person, okay? So make sure that you don't push away the wrong person. All right. All right, so for those of you who are in separation at this time, let me just make sure none of these flipped. For those of you who are in no contact, um, what's coming in? For those that are in no contact, separation, break of uh, ghosting, whatever, you know, has happened. The Hierophant, there's some, um, you're doing some searching. A lot of you are leaning on your higher power at this time. This is, these are people that are like going to God, seeking spiritual advice, spiritual wisdom. So some of you could be leaning on your, you know, your religious or spiritual beliefs at this time. This is a time of healing, get, seeking wisdom while you're in separation. This can also be a commitment, a marriage of some sort. Okay. The nine of coins, you're definitely single and independent, um, at this time and i see you kind of remaining there and focusing on your own self focusing on um, your spiritual growth what is this page of sword so you you guys could be exploring new ideas um creative ideas maybe going to schools taking up a new course Something here that helps to kind of enhance you. I see you being on in this energy of just focusing on your your physical, spiritual, emotional, and financial needs at this time. I do feel like there is someone that is watching you, okay? I do feel like someone here sees you as a beautiful piece of art or someone could see you as a piece of work. <laughs> However, eight of wands, there is communication that is coming in from somebody who is observing you in your singleness. Okay. Somebody sees you being blessed and, and they also see you growing here. Ace of cups. This person here could be very emotional when it comes to you, or this person wants to come in and offer you this Ace of Cups. Uh, for those of you who are in separation, there's communication that is coming in. Eight of Swords in reverse. Someone wants you to um, come out of this res the restriction. Someone wants to come out of isolation. Someone here doesn't want to, I feel like someone knows that they sabotage a situation. Someone is, is, um, is being made clear to someone and the restrictions, I feel, um, someone is trying to seek guidance to be released from some type of mental imprisonment or restrictions, or maybe someone is getting out of jail. <laughs> it could be something like that. Um, someone here knows that they were in some type of uh, self-sabotaging behavior. They're in regret. They could be drinking a lot with the Five of Cups. Someone does feel guilty for their behavior, Four of Cups, but there is some distance. There is some um, ignoring. There is someone here who um, looks like wants to come towards you, but they do feel as though they will be rejected. So for those of you that are in no contact, in a breakup or separation, it looks like communication comes in to try to start a kick off something new. Someone sees you as a piece of work, especially because the time that you have put in, you've just been focusing on yourself. The time that, you know, you've been in no contact with this person, they're realizing their flaws. OK, so this page of wands energy wants to come in with this new idea, this new passion. Um, that What is it that this person here? Seven of wands. There's that seven of wands that came out for the singles. So you're, you probably resonate with all three of these readings. For those of you that are in separation, you probably got the whole story here because you have your guard up to this person. All right. There could be a fire sign, a water sign and earth. There's a little air here. There's air here as well. Okay. So pretty much all signs. What What's not here? All signs is here. Okay, but um, yeah, this is you having your guard up still to someone. I feel like you're not really open to communicating at this time, even though someone does feel that it would be a good idea for you guys to communicate. They're still fighting conflict. Ten of Wands, you go from the five to the ten rather quickly. Some there's an argument that breaks out that you're not you guys are not on the same page. There could possibly be a fight here. 
So I feel like you're trying to avoid that by not dealing with this person altogether. This person, there definitely could be of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius involved, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini as well, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, someone goes from the five to the 10 rather quickly. Something becomes a burden or you're trying to avoid that from happening. So you don't want to talk to this person. Ten of Cups, King of Cups. Some of you have a Ten of Cups coming in with someone else. Empress energy. You could have children. You could be pregnant. Or there's someone who wants to marry you. Somebody here sees you as an Empress. This could be a total separate energy that you are with at this time. Um, this is a breakup or separation. Okay, yeah. So this could be someone who you you know, haven't been dealing with, you could be meeting someone new, a king of cups, okay? Um, but whether it's this person that you are separated from or a newer energy that's coming in, somebody here sees you as marriage material, all right? Somebody here wants a family, someone here um, wants to build a life with you and bring balance to your life. If you are in separation, there is a queen of coins in reverse. This is someone who could be releasing an earth sign. Someone here could, um, the queen of coins in reverse could be, there could be another person involved in this situation that's being released. Someone who is materialistic. Someone here who is um, focused, may, maybe someone used someone for money, material things or something like that. Or someone could be going through a divorce. Someone could have, could be separating and releasing a queen of coins because they see you as the empress, okay? But this queen of coins is coming out in reverse. There's conflict. There is um, the fighting competition. But then there's this uh, ace of wands with the six of swords. This is someone from your, from your, uh, someone wanting to move on to karma waters. I feel like someone here who may at one point been petty or played some mind games now wanting to come in with the, with the, a new passionate beginning and wanting to move on to calmer waters. Someone could be in the military. Someone here definitely wants to return home or to what they feel is home. They're releasing something here to do this. All right. So this is what I have for everyone. Keep in mind, this is not going to resonate for, for each and every one of you. But if it does resonate, um, leave it in the comments. Let me know, guys. Tell me your story. And for those of you who don't know, you can email me. You can inbox me. Sometimes you want to get some things off your chest or you just want to, you know, talk about the, the videos. Um, message me. I, I communicate with several of, of you um, through email and through chat. I'm always available, guys. I, I don't mind talking with you. I don't mind sharing with you, you know, my opinions, but they are my opinions. Keep that in mind. If I'm not pulling cards, it's just my opinion about a situation. <laughs> so take it with a grain of salt, okay? If if you're um, inboxing me or emailing me. All right. So thank you guys so much for your support. If you would like to book a personal reading, you can go to my website, which is on the profile or it's in the description box or just email me for more details. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys on the next one.